Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 65 of our Enigmatica 6 Let's Play series, where today um, I'm going to take a nap here real quick, and we will go over some stuff and things that we've got to do. So first off, I made the dock for our dank and then piped out most of this um, cobblestone that's in here. So if we uh, switch over to bag mode, you can see there is 277,000 cobble inside of here, which is a lot of cobble, let me tell you. And then I set this guy up to pipe from here into a fluid encapsulator. Um, and it's running with water and that will make a, a smossy cobblestone. I should have put this into a drawer because I just realized that we have 16,000 of it because uh, I let this run overnight, but yeah. So, but I think uh, 16,000 is way more than enough. So let's go ahead and actually break all of this. And yes, this would be faster if I would use the proper tool for it. I know, um, but it is what it is. Let's get our morphing tool and set you to extract. And you can see there is over a million cobble in here, which is more than this can hold, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing can only hold 500,000. There's no GUI for the black hole units. It just fills up, so, or gooey. I say GUI, some people say gooey. I know it's an argument as to which one's proper and which one's correct. Ooh, you say whatever you wanna say, you know? Uh, anyway, so this is gonna make its last bit of uh, mossy cobblestone here. I also set up dark oak and mineral over here in our botany pots and I let them run overnight uh, to get the stuff. Mineral is good for um, future integrated dynamics, but the wood also looks absolutely fantastic. The blue um, really pops, you know? It just looks good. So yeah, we got that going. So let me dump all of this into our uh, refined storage system here. And I pray I don't need to add any more <laughs> drawers, or not drawers, uh, disk drives soon. Cause I, like I said, I let that mossy cobblestone run and I completely didn't think about how much it was going to actually make by letting that run overnight because it's not the fastest you can see i'll show you i mean we can take a look at it and you can see how fast this is like okay so over a period of eight hours it made fifteen thousand sixteen thousand that's a lot of cobblestone uh anyway so also our tree farm gummed up again i really don't know what's wrong with this thing this should be working without issue. I'm thinking what's happening maybe now is these giant trees are gumming it up somehow. So next time I work with this, I'm gonna, we're gonna have a grass, a block, a grass, a block, and I'm just gonna space it out in a checkerboard so that these can't grow together and maybe that'll fix it. Again, I'm not too concerned about it because we have so much um, wood. It's really a non-issue. Uh, also, if we come over here, you will see that I set up a template manager. Um, now, one thing to point out, templates do not have a recipe. There is no recipe for the templates and there should be a recipe for the templates, um, but there isn't. So I did have to cheat this template in, so I will let you know. It's a template, it's made out of paper. It's easy. Um, so I added this in so that I could actually, you know, save my copy. But basically what, the way that this template manager works is when you copy something. So in my creative world, I copied the giant pyramid that I made, which copies it to your clipboard. And it's like, a, I think it's a base 64 encode of what the building looks like and where all the blocks are. You go and take your copy paste gadget and your template you copy or you paste it, which is going to paste it to the template, and then you load the paste into your copy paste gadget. Um, so that's what I did. So I just want to let you all know that that is in there. And if you try to make your own, you will need to cheat a template in because it's not craftable for whatever reason. Um, also, that's not, that's it. That's pretty much everything. Uh, I also went into the nether and got some glowstone because we needed a little bit more. Um, so we have somewhere around here, I got like, we had like 700 glowstone or 600. We have 
you know, like a thousand now, something like that. We need 600 of it for this whole project. So, uh, but if we look at our copy paste gadget, it tells us we need 47,951 cobble and 4,588 glowstone or luminous glass and ethereal glass. The luminous glass is what we're working on right now. Um, I need to kick this off, but I wanted to check how much it was, 4588. So let's just go ahead and make an even 5,000. And this should be pretty quick to craft. Like, it shouldn't take long at all to, to do all that. Uh, glass, if we look at glass, we have 26,000 glass stored. And sand is 33,000 because I did switch one of those um, material stoneworks factories to do sand just so that we had it and set it up with a drawer. I also set these up to be void. Oops. These are void. How do I? They have a UI. I just do I have to have an empty hand. Yeah. OK, uh, so they have the uh, 32 times storage, which holds about 60,000 and the void upgrade for anything after. We could set it up to shut the material stonework factories off, but it's a lot of work. Uh, so what I wanna do here real quick is go back upstairs actually and grab our dock and then check on the status of our luminous glass. Um, there it goes, luminous glass is done, okay. So what I want to do is get an exporter. Missing a redstone, are you kidding me? For real? We're out of redstone? Is this thing even still set up? I'm literally missing one redstone for this thing. Let's go to our builder and see how he's doing. And I forgot to set this back up. It's whatever. Um, you're running? Yes. You have run. You have done everything you are supposed to do. So let's move this guy. We don't have to go far. We're just going to move it right over here. Let's clear out this area just a hair. Um, so builder, oh man, I would really love a point. I forgot I have, <laughs> I got that infinite thing. I forgot all about that. I don't need to worry about, I don't even need this anymore. You can go away. Ha 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 ha. Uh, so let's set up a waystone to our quarry. We can set up, um, the builder here with our shape card. Can I like preview the area? What if I set builder to like southwest corner? Oh my. Okay, that was a mistake. Oh, that is laggy. Um this is what if I put this at zero? What I want is it to be underground. Um and now I broke it. Well, son of a gun. Well, I'm just going to have to take this, and if I break this, oh my. Well, I broke the builder. <laughs> the preview won't disappear. Oh my god, look at all the mobs that spawned because I did this incorrectly. Oh my goodness. That is ridiculous. Hey, if you want a mob farm, uh, get a builder, turn on a... Uh, the preview mode and you'll get a crazy looking uh yeah whatever i don't even care to be honest i'm gonna go ahead and move though because i don't want to deal with that mess uh let's do this builder can go here shape card can go oh, i gotta right click on this guy First corner is going to be here. Let's set the second corner to like all the way over here. I want a big area. Like, I don't want to deal with it. 
Let's not fall into lava like we did last time, but even if we did, I think I'll be okay. Uh, yeah. Well, wherever that was, that's where the next spot is. <laughs> Install you, get that point, put all this junk away. All this because I need a one piece of redstone. Just saying. You can go there with uh, network. So you're getting power. You can go here. And, oh, I'm sorry. No, the power needs to go in the back because I need to set up my, this guy, the receiver. Nope. And just to validate, it should be running. Yes. Doing the thing, doing the thing. Okay. So restart. Uh, redstone mode on to activate. And if we go back home, we should be able to flip that lever now, which I thought. Yeah, look, there we go. Tell me you got redstone at some point in there. Oh, redstone chunks. I do have redstone chunks. Do I not have redstone chunks added to this? I don't. Hey, look, we're about to get redstone. What other chunks don't I have added? Oh, my. Um... Lapis I want, coal I'm gonna want. I guess these mana chunks would be nice. This is, I think this is for, uh... can you be tripled? This is for what? Mana gems, yeah. These are the ones that can be done in, um... you can only be doubled. In the enrichment chamber, yes. This is for, the, for Ars Nouveau, I think, is that correct? which is what I was wanting earlier anyway. So that works. Didn't know we'd get those too. Uh, you can go away, you can go away. Back to what I was doing, I need that exporter. So give me that, you should have redstone now. And if you don't, we can force feed it? What is going on? Uh, hello? Um, excuse me. Why is nothing working? Uh, you should be pulling that stuff out. Items, input. Do you not get tripled? Oh, you don't. You don't go there. You can just go there. That's my issue. Give me all of that. And you know what? I bet Lapis is the same. Yep. And I bet you Coal is the same too, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I done messed up, eh, Aaron. Uh, and I messed up again because I want lapis to go or redstone first. All right, so take out you, take out you, take out you. Sorry, this is not what I intended to do uh, for this part of the episode, but it's not that big a deal. Get that in there. So we have redstone now, yes. Mm, if I were to add it to the Xnet thing. Son of a gun. Uh, that is you, yes. So I need to extract coal. Give me these coal chunks, because you're just running coal and I don't want you to. Oh my goodness. 
We had so many coal chunks that it's just... There. Give me the coal. Please process the other stuff now. Oh my gosh, why did I go for the lapis? Son of a biscuit. I need redstone. It's the one thing I need, and it's doing everything but... Okay, go away. Just give me a redstone, please. We're just gonna do that. Give me that. And that. And that. Go there. Okay, we're done. Exporter. All this just because I needed this. Uh, this guy shut off because I didn't chunk load. Oh my goodness. And I need to unchunk load the other area. Exporter. No. Into the dock. You can go there. Mr. Dink, you are going to go into here. The exporter is going to go preferably on the bottom. No. There we go. And then I want to set this to export the luminous glass. And stack upgrade. Speed upgrades. It's interesting that I only have two of those, but whatever. All right, so while that's running, let's go chunk load our quarry. Oh, and lovely. When I put the thing down, I didn't reset the thing. We're just not doing good right now, okay? This is not all what I wanted to do. All right, um, let me let me fix this quarry. Let me get all that stuff exported into our dank. That way we can get going, and I will be right... Okay, there we go. It is chunk-loaded. Uh, I forgot to put the waystone back up again, but... Whatever, it's not that far from our base, so I'm not too concerned about it. So those are going there. We're gonna probably get some coal. We're gonna get, uh, cause it's silk touching. We're gonna get the redstone and all that and it'll process and we'll be okay. So I think that means if I look here, everything is in white, which means everything is good to go. So let us go ahead and put this into paste mode and go see what this looks like. So we're going to head to our underwater portal and Shazam, check it out. That is our guy. Uh, I was already looking at this earlier, so that's why it is anchored. Normally it wouldn't be, but it is anchored. Uh, excuse me. That's very rude. Thank you. Uh, so let's see. Okay, so. Now ignore, like I said, ignore the stone that is inside of this. It is, uh, it won't be there in the final product because I'm going to have to go in, uh, excavate all of that stone out, but that way we get the water replaced easily. And since I have vein mining and infinite food, essentially, it's not that big of a deal. Um, can we please swim faster? Let me go up top. There we go. Creative flight is on, so now we should move faster. There we go. So I just want to confirm that we're not like, you know, the area I cleared out is good. That's good. Um, that's good. It overhangs a little bit, but that's okay. We can fix that on the back end. That's good. It butts right up against this coral, but... It doesn't seem like it's going to be an issue. Um, let's clear all this out. Because it won't, it will not replace blocks. So if I, I wonder if the, those sharks don't seem to be aggressive. I bet you if I attacked it, it would be. But otherwise, we're good. So we're good, we're good, we're good. Everything's clear. Like I said, there's a little overhang here, but we're okay. And there's no, um, these guys might be an issue being in my way, but that's okay. All right, so we're ready. All I have to do is 
right click. Look at that lag. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that lag just absolutely amazingly beautiful? And we're good. We're getting this flickering because the render is still previewed. Oh, hello, sir. Look at all this coral. Check it out. We have a awesome. Oh my goodness, man. I am getting attacked everywhere. Now what's attacking me? Leave me alone. Oh, nothing's attacking me. I just can't breathe. It kind of looks like that drowned is stuck in our base, doesn't it? I don't know. Okay. Uh, so we just have a little bit of uh, sand to fix here. That's not what I want. Do I not have any sand in here? That can be rectified. Let's put all of that in there. And then I should be good to just fill this in. Oh my goodness, man. These guys are nuts. There was a spawner of them around here that I had to break. Um, and I thought that was going to be the end of them, but I guess not. Uh, building gadget. Set to you. Build to me. Build to me. There we go. That should fix these little areas where the glass is rendering weird. Sweet. Oh my goodness, I cannot swim fast. All right, so then the next steps for this is going to be for me to start clearing this out. Uh, once I get in here, I should, and I didn't make enough. Oh no, I do have another ethereal glass because what's going to happen is ethereal glass should, I didn't test this, but it should keep the water out. Um, so if I go in here and I vein mine this and then I put this back, Yes, no water. Correct, no water. So we do not have water in here. So this is like an airlock. I, th I thought this was a pretty cool idea. We have a little airlock here where we go out. We're swimming. And then we come in and bam, we land. And we can see everything because uh, we're inside. So we get like underwatery vision. Uh, these water drips, I mean, there's nothing we're going to be able to do about this. I could turn particles off and that probably would get rid of it. Um, but I'm not too concerned about it. But basically, what I have to do is just vein mine all of this out for the entirety of this pyramid. And yes, this is the best way that I found to be able to do this. I tried other ways. It was just not not working. So uh, this is what I'm going to do in between episodes. I'm going to go ahead and vein mine all of this out and start working on bringing some of our stuff over. I'm not going to make you guys watch me rebuild everything. Um, so all the stuff that we have in our current base, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, bring it over here. I do have some ideas for design for the base. Uh, excuse me, you were supposed to. Every time you dock this, you have to set this back to pick up, by the way. Because it will not automatically pick up. Or after you dock it, it just resets. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, you got to reset it. So yeah, anyway, I will go ahead and clear this out and get us going with our base, move everything over. I got to, I'll have to reset up the, oh, what is happening here? Reset up the automations for like Xnet and stuff, which is going to be, to be honest, a pain, but we'll get it done. Um, and then, yeah, we have a nice, awesome looking base to live in. I am pumped for this. Let me fill this in and you're going to fall. You're going to fall. I don't know why I'm using sand. I'm going to be replacing the floor on this anyway. My idea for this is to have like a terrarium. Like so that we'll have we'll have like mossy cobblestone and we're going to have trees and grass and all and, you know, plants and stuff. And it's going to be a terrarium, but underwater. I'm going to have to see about those water droplet particles. I may uh, turn that off. 
Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. If you liked what you watched, uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. I do appreciate it, and it really does help out the channel. Uh, yeah, so thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.